It's Time Warner Cable's Local Edition. I'm Brad Palmer. Thank you for joining us. Our guest, Tom Brewer, Councilman for Torrance. And yes, we are celebrating the 100th anniversary of this beautiful city of Torrance. A lot of rich history in Torrance. Tell us about the history of the, of the city. Well, we were founded in uh, 1912 by Jared Sidney Torrance. Mm -hmm. he, uh, Who is he? Well, he was a, a person that actually lived in Pasadena, and the odd thing was he never lived in Torrance. Oh, you're kidding. But uh, he, he wanted to start a city that was a balanced city with industry, business, and residential. Uh, it was a very big steel city, right. and uh, part of the thing was we were building uh, the infrastructure for the red car. You know, we had, you know, building the tracks and right. for the red car. But what's interesting about Torrance is it really has weathered the changes in our economy in the Southland. It has. We've done very well. We, we've been balanced, which has really kept us uh, uh, healthy through the bad economic times. We have uh, business, residential, and commercial. So How many people live in Torrance? 145. So it's a, it's a larger city, no doubt. It's the ninth largest city in LA County. I didn't realize that. And then what about people coming in when it's fully occupied with employees? How big does it Oh, it gets up to, to? up to half a million people. Yeah, so it's, it's a very active city near the coast. Mm -hmm. I do want to talk about some of the celebrations because they have been really engaging and there are more celebrations coming up. Whether you live in Torrance or not, I think it'd be a lot of fun to attend. There was recently a community parade, which sounded terrific. I wish I could have gone. Tell us about it. We had 85 entries. There were 2,000 people in the parade, almost as many people in the parade as watching the parade. It was, it was really amazing to see so many different groups in the community come out, no vehicles. Right. The only thing we had that was a vehicle was the Wells Fargo stagecoach. Which, which is a totally appropriate. Yep, absolutely. And the city council is right behind uh, that entry. And let's talk about the upcoming birthday bash because that really is the culmination of this year-long celebration. It's coming up on October 28th. It's a Sunday. Tell us all about it, how we can attend. You know, is there a ticket price? Tell us how we can get there. It's free. Free is free. Best. Free is best. We like free. It's at Wilson Park, and Wilson Park's mm -hmm. at uh, 2200 Crenshaw Boulevard, okay. uh, just a little bit north of Sepulveda. Uh, it starts at 10 o'clock in the morning, goes till 5 o'clock in the afternoon, and we have Oh, food trucks and vendors and arts and crafts and different performers. It's just uh, something for everybody to do there. And we can get information about it at torrentcentennial.org. I want to get a sense from you, sir, about what the power of the centennial has meant and done for your city. I mean, it's got to inject serious civic pride in the hundred and almost 50,000 residents of oh, your city. Oh, you know, city. absolutely. It really has. The, the city's been energized this year, and it started with Late last year, when I was here uh, right. last year, sure. about lights, camera, action. Right. Tell us. I remember that. We had 2,500 people turn out for that. Uh, and ever since then, every centennial event we've had has just been packed. Uh, and everybody's just been amazed at, uh, you know, the turnout we've had for all the events we've had this past year. What's amazing to me is how the whole South Bay area, and Torrance, of course, being part of that South Bay, has become so incredibly I'll just use the word popular. I mean, it really is kind of the next place to go. It's, you know, it's a hidden gem. It really is a hidden gem. Is there competition between some of those South Bay cities? Friendly competition. Yeah. We have a joke with Redondo Beach. Right. Uh, Redondo Beach, they say, has higher property values because they have beach. Right, beach. So if we were Torrance Beach, we'd have higher property right. values, but too. But you're not on the coast, technically. Well, actually, we have a little stretch of do beach. You? We have Torrance Beach. We where? Do. I'm trying to think where that would be. Right at the foot uh, foothill of uh, Palos Verdes. It's between Palos Verdes and Redondo Beach. There's a little sliver that's Torrance Beach. What do you think Mr. Torrance would say if he could be here today, 100 years later? Oh, he'd be amazed. I mean, just, just the way the city's changed, uh, all the factories over here that he put in sure. are gone. We have more houses than we used to have. And we have a mall. Who would imagine a mall? You know, because we used to have downtown. And it's a great mall. I've been there. There's a futsal court that I go to, and the mall's great, and it's 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 thriving, and maybe re revitalized soon? Soon, hopefully, okay. yeah. His name is Tom Brewer. He is celebrating the 100th anniversary. You brought me a little present. I did. Which is you great. Have a big pin, so there I'll you have it. We thank you. I'm Brad Palmer. Thanks for watching Time Warner Cable's Local Edition.